Art Oaken became a commissioned officer in the Air Force out of ROTC in college in the 1960s. Trained as an aircraft navigator and in electronic warfare, he was soon sent to Vietnam. As the war got underway, the air campaign in Southeast Asia, the uh, attrition, uh, the fighter attrition was uh, unacceptable. Uh, that's an understatement. The culprit? Surface-to-air missiles that were taking U.S. fighters out of the skies with ease. The Russians put their state-of-the-art equipment early on in the Southeast Asia, the, the SA-2, uh, uh, search their missile system, mm -hmm. which is, and um, so they were very good at what they, what they did. Then, fighter bombers like the F-105 the plane Oaken flew in used World War II tactics, essentially lobbing a bomb at a target, believing the jet exposed to the missiles from the ground. So the U.S. changed tactics to more modern electronic warfare with the use of new, highly classified equipment in the aircraft. It, it consummated in, among other things, the Wild Weasel program. The Wild Weasel aircraft F-105s were loaded with the equipment that would detect the missile batteries and pinpoint their locations for other aircraft to destroy. The Weasel is a ferret, and we were, we were essentially ferrets. We went in there. Oaken flew a total of 81 missions as a liaison officer to relay information to command about how the Wild Weasel program was working to change the U.S. approach to air warfare. Well, it certainly put them on the defensive. Uh, uh, it, 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 did, uh, it was highly successful. After his military career, he was a lawyer, and having spent training time at both Keesler and Eglin Air Force bases, settled with his mobile native wife here on the Gulf Coast. He's currently retired and serves as a board member of the Alabama State Veterans Cemetery. He's our serving those who serve hero and a very humble veteran. I am the least of a, uh, a smallish group of very, very courageous, uh, uh, very capable people. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.